Gordon, thank you for the first super chat. First timer, that's all right, man. We're all we're all there. What is the best mid-range motherboard for a new build? 14700K, 32 gigs of RAM, 4070 Super. That's a fair question. It, it, it is. Buy Windows 10 Professional for $15, activate instantly online with Microsoft, and keep it forever. Don't pay full price. Get the best deal from our sponsor, URCD Keys, using our link in the video description below. Full details on how this amazing deal works at the end of the video. What would I buy right now if I was building what he suggested? A 14700K? Just, I'm going to walk through my thought process here. Skip these cheap boards. $169 for a Z790. At this point, I wouldn't get a Z690, not for 14th gen. Get a, get a Z790. Um, I wouldn't buy these. They're a little bit too cheap for that. You're getting a nice motherboard, a nice CPU. $400 CPU deserves a better board than these. Um, these aren't terrible, but I would personally still go up one more notch. You know, a lot of people are going to say the question, why? What do you see there that a less experienced eye doesn't see? I am looking at, I am looking at the overall component density of the board. Yep. How many things they put on it, how many M.2 slots, how many M.2 heat shields, like, do you notice how this board right here is missing? It's missing. Click on the mother, actually. One, two, three, four. It has four M.2 slots. Mm -hmm. That's nice. But there's no heat shield covers here. No. DDR, uh, Gen 4 drives need, will have to have heat sinks. Need, need a heat sink. They will overheat on yep. there. Uh -huh. Whereas here, You've got... Come on. There we go. You've got heat, heat sinks. Does that have four M.2 slots? One... Is that missing something? Where does it say? Like this right here, that... That's a very, very thin board. Oh, that's got no heat shield. <laughs> that has nothing on it. It's too bare. It's woo naked. It's it's got good power. It's got great power delivery. It's got two eight pin connectors, but it is an absolutely naked board. This gigabyte gaming X board looks better, but I know what's on gaming X boards, and it's not. It has the full cover heat shield here. Mm. It has decent power delivery, but this is like their budget Z board. Yep. It's 200, price is about right, but come on, go back. There we go. Ooh, Sonic, that has terrible audio on it though. It's fun though, if you like Sonic. The Riptides generally tend to be really nice boards. I would be tempted to get a Riptide. I actually own a Z690 Riptide. Do you notice for 239 here, now you're at the Aorus Elite AX? Mm. The Aorus Elite AX for 40 bucks more than the Gaming X is worth the 40 bucks. And, and inevitably somebody's gonna say, how do you know that? I've used hundreds of motherboards. Yeah. I, I've touched a lot of different boards at different grades. Yeah. You won't remember or notice the $40 but you'll notice it in the build. You'll notice it three years from now. Yep. You'll be grateful you spent a little bit extra. We're not talking about somebody who's building an i5-13400 with a 3060. No. We're talking about somebody who's doing a 4070 Super with a 14700K and may very well want to put a 50 series card on in the future. Yep, that's true. You can spend 160 bucks or you can spend 260, but the 100, the motherboard is the mother of your it PC. Is it's the core of your machine. I cannot stand cheapening out. But this does not mean you have to spend $500 or $400. It just means, you know, this uh, Tough Gaming would be pretty nice as well. The Tough series is really dependable. I've had good luck with those. 
these primes are cheap. That's a terrible price for the prime. Oh, it's a third party seller. That's why. See how that's actually shipped by Newegg? Yeah. And see how this one is oh, not? Do. Yep. That's interesting. A Rog Strix for $250. Uh, that's probably a fairly entry level Rog Strix, but it's worth considering. MSI Pro? $260? The max means it comes with 14th gen support, so there's no BIOS flashback, which is kind of nice. That has Wi-Fi. The other one probably doesn't have Wi-Fi. Oh, no, it does. Z790 Plus, uh, Asus Tough Gaming for 229 versus Asus Tough Gaming. Oh, it's the Dash Pro board. Interesting. I do not know what the difference between the Plus and the Pro is. So let's come back and answer his question properly. His question was, where'd he go? Just don't believe in you there. What is the best mid-range motherboard for a new build? A 14700K, 32 gigs of RAM, DDR5, and a RTX 4070 Super. And my answer is something between about $230 and $260. The 200 hour boards are okay, but I don't think you need to save 40 bucks that bad. Absolutely skip the $170 stuff there, stripped to the bone. Mm -hmm. You don't need to spend three fifty. It's really even three hundred. Nah, you really don't. I would be somewhere in that two fifty range if I were building that today, based upon the depth and breadth of experience of touching motherboards. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yep. Looking for a Windows ten or eleven product key, but you don't want to spend one hundred to two hundred dollars for it. Our sponsor, URCD Keys, provides discounted Windows keys at amazing prices. $15 for Windows 10 Professional, $21 for Windows 11 Professional, and just $60 for Microsoft Office 2021 Professional Plus. These product keys are the real deal. They activate directly with Microsoft Online, link to your Microsoft account, and they work forever. For Windows, you simply go to Settings, Update and Security, Activation, click Change Product Key, paste the key provided by URCD Keys, and in seconds, you're activated with Microsoft. For Office, go to setup.office.com, sign in with your Microsoft account, paste the product key provided by URCD Keys, and then download Office 2021 Pro Plus directly from Microsoft. Remember to use the discount code TD20 to save 25% off the already deeply discounted prices and support our channel at the same time. We have been using product keys from URCD Keys for almost five years now without any issues and encourage you to do so as well.